What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Keith Keys, and on today, we are going to take a look at the Rosetta EQ by HMD. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell to get more videos like this. So on today, we are going to take a look at the new Rosetta EQ that has just been released by the company HMD that's helped me to Vaughn. Uh, we're going to take a fresh look at it. I just downloaded this um, EQ. I didn't use it on anything yet. I have no idea how it sounds. We're actually going to jump into it together. So the session we're going to be using for this example is called Brunch. It's by an artist named Julia Rose. I had the opportunity to uh, produce, record, mix, uh, and master this track. Uh, this track is out, so I will leave the link in the description. Um, if you actually want to hear this track uh, the way it's supposed to be heard, this is what we're going to use today uh, for this video. So let's jump into the session and let's see what this EQ is all about. All right, cool. So before I grab the EQ, I'm going to hit play on a little part of this session so that y'all can hear the song, uh, hear what we're dealing with, and then we'll go from there and see how this EQ can be applied in this situation. Let's open up this EQ and let's see what it does. So I think what I want to do first is I want to deal with these background vocals. So I, we have some background vocals right here. Um, and I already have some plugins actually on it. I'm going to take all the plugins off and then use this EQ and then we'll see what we get. So. So all of the background vocals here I actually have being sent down to this BGV bus. So let's strip all of the plugins off of this bus and then we'll go from there. So we'll open up the mix window, hit clear, cool, reset. So there's no um, plugins on this background vocal. Um, I just have auto-tune access actually on all of these individual background vocal tracks. They're being tuned different ways. Um, and auto-tune access is kind of the least uh, CPU intensive version of auto-tune for multiple tracks at a time. So um, cool. So let's hear what these background vocals sound like. Let's go. So we don't have any plugins actually on this BGV bus. So let's start here on this BGV bus and let's grab the Rosetta EQ. Cool. So I haven't used this plugin yet. The only thing I did was literally download it, load it up, make sure it works. And I clicked one button, which is a very dope button. And it's this little thing right here. Let's you resize the plugin thank you thank you so now we have the plugin open um and it, and this plugin has two different modes an additive mode and a subtractive mode um so obviously the additive mode is going to be adding um, attention and frequencies to uh, whatever source you have. And subtractive is obviously going to do the opposite. It's going to be taking things away. So frequencies that are very harsh, um, muddy, um, and you can do different things. So let's go through it. So here are all the parameters right here. It's, it's a very easy interface. I love how clean it is. Um, I love how it's laid out um, and here. So we have our different parameters, clarity, bite, warmth, air, presence, and bottom. And then if you hit subtractive, it's S and T's, uh, dark and harshness, tuck, muddy, low cut. Uh, and we'll go through all of these. Then here you have your level. 
Um, so your output, um, here you have an enhance button. Okay, we're going to definitely deal with this. And then you have bandwidth style down here. So balanced, extreme, surgical. So these are similar to the cues that you have on a regular EQ. Um, this is more wide and this is more narrow for surgical uh, reasons. Um, so, yeah, so this plugin is $50, $49.99. Uh, online on uh, helpmedevon.com. Um, so this is a very, very uh, great price point for plugins, honestly, um, especially a plugin that offers so many um, options. So let's go through it and let's see how this thing sounds. Um, this plugin was designed so that you use your ears and that you don't look at just knobs and parameters and meters. Oftentimes, even a, a spectrum analyzer can uh, judge our, could uh, clout our decision making or kind of persuade us that something is that it really isn't. Um, and what really matters the most is your ears when it comes to mixing. And we, uh, we take advantage and we're spoiled by the other tools and parameters that are included in a lot of EQs, but this EQ is specifically made so that you use your ears to achieve the goals you want to achieve. So let's actually play these BGVs and we'll just start here from where all the harmonies are singing and let's play around with this EQ and let's see what we can actually get out of it. So I'll do it once in solo and then we'll try to do a lot of it with the music going on uh, just so we can actually hear what we're doing in context of the song. So. Let's go to brunch now. I the the Let's go to brunch now. So literally all I was doing right there was a little bit of DSing with the S and the T's and, and it, it worked very well. It seems as if it was really able to catch all of the S and T's usually when you're dealing with a lot of stacks and background vocals um, and and everyone's saying uh, a S or a T. You don't need every single S and every single T of every background vocal. Um, you never need it. So it's great that this can catch all of them um, happening at one time. So that sounds pretty good. So let's let's keep going. Let's go to brunch now. I the Ooh. Let's go to brunch now. I the Hey yo. All right, cool. So as we're using this, <laughs> and you can kind of notice that there's not even DBs. We have like a point system. So like the more you move a parameter, it moves up and down by points. So it's not like a DB. It's not like 30 DB, uh, you know, 25 DB, 20 DB, 5 DB, 10 DB. It's nothing like that at all. So it really forces you to use your ears to make decisions. This muddy knob right here, like this thing really does take the mud out of it. So I'll turn it all the way off and I'll cut it on and you can hear it. So. Let's go to brunch now. I so what's going on? All right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up to see the um, 
effects tab and Cubase. And here it already comes with a spectrum analyzer. So I want to see what this knob is actually doing. So this is Let's go to brunch now. I so cool because so you can see when I, I apply the low cut and you can see how the low cut will be low cutting here as if you were actually low cutting not that not like that as if you were actually low cutting you know with a regular eq so let's take a look at that again let's go to brunch now I will be the brunch. yeah so let's do the muddy now let's go to brunch now Hold up. Let's go to brunch now. I will be the brunch. Let's go to brunch now. I will be the brunch. Okay, so the muddy knob sounds like it's it's dipping somewhere but it sounds as if it's taking a lot out of the side information and almost like centering it it's weird uh but let's keep going let's keep going um let's play this with the uh let's play this with the music and let's see how much we can get done from here so let's, let's go to Definitely sounds like it's dipping like uh, 800. A little bit of 800 range. Let me hear. Let's let's actually let's look at go this. to brunch now. I'm rounding up all my girls. Let's go to brunch now. I'm the Let's go to brunch now. I'm rounding up. Yeah, so it sounds like it's dipping a lot of like around the mid range, around the 800 hertz range. Um, so yeah, that sounds great. So let's so let's let's add a little bit more, and then let's go to the additive side, and let's actually really deal with this. Let's go to brunch So for me, that's a uh, that's a bit like you know it's a good starting point as far as the subtractive side is. Um, if I was dealing with like one source and not just um, not just a whole bus of stacked background vocals, I probably would be more on the surgical side uh, when it comes to subtractive. But when it ever comes to bus items, broader strokes kind of keeps everything in unison and cohesive. So let's go to the additive side and let's see if we can make this into a track because kind of what i like to do is when i mix i try to do all of my subtractive things first you know in the mix and then compression um you know and then saturation down the line and then uh, after that is when i try to at that point if i need more eq in some way that's when i start adding flavor adding sauce adding things to the actual chain to enhance it so let's see what we can do this without there's no compression there's no well other than all the vocals were tracked through a 76 um but there's no other added compression there's no saturation on it so let's see what we can do with just this eq to make these vocals sound out let's go.
Let's go to brunch now. I'm on the bus. This is crazy. Um, the air knob definitely gives a pleasant, tight um, top end uh, to the vocals. I, I really do like this air knob. Actually, is is giving me rem <laughs> reminiscent of the uh, Slate Digital Fresh Air. Um, this air knob is dope. The brightness, whoo, you better be careful with this knob. You add too much of that man your ears are going to be hurting so this definitely adds a lot of tight end the clarity this works very well honestly this works uh this sounds to me almost as if it's working similar to how you would apply saturation to the top end uh, of a vocal chain that's what the clarity is sounding like to me so this sounds dope um for vocals let's actually put this rosetta eq on another source i see that just presets up here and i see bass so let's actually see what's going on with this bass so this bass is um the mm bass from contact uh, and i still have it in midi actually um and we're actually in cubase this is not a problem so we're, we're go actually going to add this rosetta eq we're going to take everything off everything off of this bass track and what we are going to do is we are going to apply the rosetta eq to this bass track let's clear everything off let's just add the rosetta eq right here rosetta eq cool so let's resize it i love that feature it's probably my favorite feature of the whole plugin right there man um and now let's let's actually let's play this let's play this bass part with no uh nothing added to it and then let's just hit um let's actually choose a preset and let's hear what that sounds like all right y'all get the point so let's actually add a preset let's go to the base preset and there's hit harder and then more presence um let's do more presence let's hear what this sounds like um and as we see it already has parameters set uh on clarity bite warmth air presence and bottom subtractive nothing going on on the subtractive end so let's actually hear what's going on i'm actually intrigued about this so let's hit play and let's hear what difference we have So cool. That's actually a tight uh, preset. If you can actually hear with this preset on, the t uh, top end of the bass actually is cutting through. And when you're dealing with bass guitar, especially live sound and bass guitar, it's important to have the balance of the high end through the mid range down to the low end so that you actually can hear the pickups. Um, you can actually hear the uh, high end of a bass and not just get the low end rumble that you know you might just get out of an 808. Um, so let's actually hit play again. Let's hit play this inside the mix and let's mix some adjustments to it and let's see where we can get it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's go 
All right, so a couple things on base. This warm knob, woo-wee, that makes the bass sound so good. Now, I will say for the bottom end, I am pushing this parameter pretty hard to get some decent low end out of it. Um, uh, and once again, this bass isn't like extremely low um, of a bass, so, but I do have to use this parameter to kind of get a lot of good and big low end out of it. But this warmth knob right here, this is it on base. All right, let's keep moving real quick. Let's actually go to, let's actually go to, let's go to this keys. So the keys section and we'll go to the keys bus. Um, so I have everything once again still in MIDI, but in Cubase, we can actually just go to the keys bus. Let's open this up and let's just clear everything on the keys bus, even with no compression. Okay, cool. So let's hit play. Let's hear what we have. Cool, so that's the basis of that. So let's grab the Rosetta EQ. Boom, I love that resizing feature. So let's find the preset for the keys. Oh, I do not see a preset for the keys. So this isn't a knock on the plugin, but for version two, can we please see some keys presets? Thank you. All right, so let's just hit play with the track and let's just see where we get with this then. Okay, so interesting. So the volume actually starts at one and then it goes up to two. The jump from one to two isn't significant, right? But the jump from one to zero is significant. Maybe like six dB. Yeah, and clearly, like, nothing. So, that's interesting. Very interesting. So, let's play this. So, this definitely sounds like some saturation a bit. Definitely sounds like a little bit of saturation to my to my ears. Um, let's... So definitely this warm knob, honestly, this warm knob is probably my favorite 
a parameter out of the whole entire EQ. Um, after that, I do feel like in the subtractive side, the muddy, the muddy uh, parameter and the S and T's definitely on the vocals. Huge difference, um, very huge difference. And then I noticed when I click this extreme button, this extreme just made a is a, it's a significant difference between the extreme and the balance. I'm pretty sure even the surgical. So I'll play the keys again and I'll just toggle back between balance, extreme, and surgical, and you can hear you can hear for yourself. So let's solo. Let's go. You can clearly hear extreme is a bit more extreme It's definitely something I would use uh, in a very dense song with instruments galore and vocals galore um, to actually have something cut through the mix. Um, I am very pleased with this plugin. I actually just really caught me by surprise. Um, definitely how good it is. For this plugin, like I said, um, the warmth parameter, this is where it's at right here for me. It's this warmth parameter. Honestly, I could see myself in a regular uh, mixing session and actually just opening this EQ up just for the warmth aspect of it. Um, uh, HMD, y'all did a great job. Congrats on this plugin. Uh, this is HMD's very first plugin. Uh, this EQ is great. It does what an EQ does uh, and what you need it to do. Um, it doesn't sound as if it's adding too much coloration to it. Um, this enhanced knob, enhanced feature right here, definitely uh, shows a little bit of signs of that, but all the other parameters uh, don't seem to do that. It's very clean. The inner, uh, the user interface is very clean. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with this plugin. I just I just hope for version two, or if y'all do expansions, um, to definitely add in some keys presets for those uh you know who really needs it and stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth review, this look at the HMD Rosetta EQ. Shout out to HMD once again. My thoughts are that this EQ is a very good EQ. It does exactly what you need it to do. Um, definitely that warmth knob for me, that is probably my favorite feature of the whole entire EQ. And the fact that the EQ is adjustable, um, that is just attention to detail. So those are the things I really like uh, for the future. I really hope that an updated version comes with more presets for those who need it. Then I also hope that they also include a preset labeled empty or reset that just resets all your parameters back to the beginning rather than having to load up a whole nother EQ. Uh, it's just like, you know, one less click or something that you have to do. Uh, but other than that, this EQ is is very good i actually do see this eq in my workflow so i'm going to be implementing it in the uh couple mixes that i have coming up uh especially when it comes to uh the vocal bus uh, i really do enjoy it um especially when it gets the air and the warmth at the same time this is a very good eq uh it's a very good eq the uh the fact that they don't move in dbs and they really force you to use your ear um that just takes a little bit of adjusting uh to get used to but other than that this eq is perfect uh like i said the link to this eq will be in the description below so make sure that you check this eq out uh, make sure that you go check help me devon out and the guys over there at hmd and before you leave check the link in the description below i have a bunch of free goodies for you uh until then i'll see you in the next video and thank you for trusting me with your music peace